Mark Reichel joins us now. He's a federal criminal defense attorney, and these are some serious charges, second degree murder. Are you at all surprised at how this came down so quickly? You know, the, the, the speed at which it came is rather surprising because it was a grand jury indictment and we're all familiar with grand juries. They usually take their time. They call in witnesses. From, they call in the witnesses. They look at records, maybe look at some physical evidence. And then eventually they come to an indictment. This was really quick. Two officers went in and, and I think described what happened and you got an immediate indictment. Uh, we all know this is very fast. There's not one person in America who's who's not completely surprised at how fast this happened. Yeah, it was very quick. Mark, the district attorney also says all the officers played different roles in the killing, but are all responsible. Kind of makes you think of George Floyd a bit. What does that statement tell you about how this criminal case could unfold? Well, good question, because what it may unfold is somebody who's lesser culpable may tell their lawyer, look, I, you know, look, I agree what I did was wrong. I didn't think this was going to happen. I'd like to get something lesser out of this. I'm willing to cooperate. I'm willing to become a witness and, you know, give my um, eyewitness testimony, maybe things that were set off of camera before the camera and so forth. But honestly, if everything here was done on camera, everyone is going to have a real tough time defending this case just from what we're hearing. And we know that the attorney for the family has compared the video to the Rodney King beating in the 90s. How big of a role do you think this body camera video is going to play in the prosecution's case? In the prosecution's case, they're obviously going it, it, to, if it turns the jury's stomach, they're not going to listen to a word the defense lawyers say in their defense. Not a word. There's no self-defense here if there's five officers doing what we saw Rodney King. Rodney King changed the nation as well, the consciousness. Maybe here this will show there's no biases or personal prejudices or racism involved, but more systemic, that there's possibly a real strong call for police reform nationwide now, because this shows it can get anyone who is a police officer can get dragged into the wrong behavior because the laws have allowed them so much leeway. So as a result, I, I anticipate this really may start a discussion when people see the video and watch this case for a national discussion about actual police reform. And Mark, you know, there's still so much to come out on this. And when that video comes out, it's going to be so impactful. Any last thoughts on this case as of right now before that video comes out? You know, I just hope people that understand that it goes on across the nation all of the time. And we're a, we're a nation of a rule of law. The rule of law is the most important thing that we have as Americans. Follow it. That's the most important thing. Justice will come. I don't doubt that at all. All right. Thank you, uh, Mark Reichel, defense attorney, federal defense attorney. We appreciate your take. Thank you very much for having me. And in other news, this afternoon, the president also released a statement about the case saying, quote, as Americans grieve, the Department of Justice conducts its investigation and state authorities continue their work. I join Tyree's family in calling for peaceful protest. Outrage is understandable, but violence is never acceptable. Violence is destructive and against the law. It has no place in peaceful protests seeking justice.